So here's some rare exotic pen blanks that kind of have come all the way all over the world. You can get them all in a pack on Etsy, and these are all pen blanks shaped to make wooden pens like this. I've gotten a lot of these, a uh, whole bunch of different kinds of wood. One of my favorites is Purple Heart. It's, and you can see in this pen here, and in this one up here, that's Purple Heart. And it's, it's amazing, especially if you get it in the sunlight, you can really see the purple color. And it's, it's definitely my favorite wood. Then like Bacote, that's a really cool wood. Just the grain pattern on it is just super cool. Another one of my favorite woods is African Blackwood or Ebony. African Blackwood is kind of like a substitute for Ebony. Um, this one here is an example of Ebony. African Blackwood and Ebony look just about the same, but it turns out super cool, especially with the glossy finish. And then a few of the other pens that I've made here, this one's a cross-cut spalting maple. This one's just super cool with that spalting pattern. And then I have uh, olive wood right here from Bethlehem. That one's pretty cool. And maybe this one might be my favorite. This is a poison ivy. This is poison ivy. It's totally safe to touch. But you might be asking, how can you make a pen from poison ivy? First you go out, you find a poison ivy vine that's actually thick enough to make a pen out of. Then you gotta bring it, or you cut it up, leave it outside for like a year, and then that kind of lets it dry and kind of flushes it out. Then you bring it inside, and this particular blank probably dried for about three years. Then it was shipped out to a place, I don't know, maybe it was in Iowa or somewhere out there where they do stabilization for blanks, which is basically where they put this in a bath of plastic and pull out, a pull vacuum, and that replaces all the air in the wood with like a plastic, resin and that really stabilizes the blank and it also encapsulates all of it in plastic so it's safe to touch and then that even dried for another year so it's not like there's going to be any oil left in here and it also has a super cool pattern with yellow and reds and the knot up there it's just a cool blank it's amazing the color variation you can get actually like from these woods so you have purple heart which is crazy that it's purple then you have African Paduke, which is kind of like a deep red. And then Yellow Heart is like a yellowish wood. Wenge is kind of like a black palm looking wood, but it's like a black and almost like a, like a, just like beige in between. It's, it's just a cool wood. And then African Black Wood is just like a deep black, same with Ebony. And then Bacote has just that crazy pattern in it. Same with Zebra Wood, it has the pattern like of a zebra. Just the different colors, patterns, and just grain that you can get on these wood blanks are crazy. I mean, like the Gonacalo Alves. I mean, that's a cool blank with the grain in there. Purple Heart being one of my most favorite woods, I need a little bit more of it than just one blank. And instead of going and buying like a big pack of Purple Heart pre-cut blanks, I find it cheaper if you just get Purple Heart lumber. You can get like a four inch by 12 inch board of Purple Heart for like, well, you, you get a pack of two for about $20. So that's pretty cheap. And then you can just take it over like to a table saw or cut it by hand and cut it into the correct sizes. And that's super cool. You can see it makes really cool pens. Making these pens has definitely been a lot of fun. I would highly recommend doing it yourself. And I've been selling these on Etsy and locally and it kind of pays for itself. So having a hobby that pays for itself is really cool. So you can get all these cool woods, play with them. And at the end of the day, sell kind of all for free and you might even make a little bit of profit. 